Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Monday, June 3rd. I'm Christy Matino. Mexico has elected their first woman president. Claudia Scheinbaum won Mexico's presidential election, leading to six more years of the country's left-leaning Morena party leadership. Scheinbaum earned roughly 60% of the vote and was declared the winner after four in the morning on Monday. The election was believed to be the largest in the country's history, with 100 million citizens voting in more than 20,000 congressional and local positions. But it was a violent election season. More than 20 candidates were killed, and there were kidnappings and attacks on election day. And former President Donald Trump is speaking out about his guilty verdict. He said it's impacting his family more than himself. This was Trump's first TV interview since a Manhattan jury found him guilty of falsifying business records. He spoke about the impact the trial has had on his wife, former First Lady Melania Trump. I have a wonderful wife who has to listen to this stuff all the time. They do that for this reason. It's tougher. I think it's probably in many ways it's tougher on my family than it is in me. You know, How's Melania doing? This? She's fine, but I think it's very hard for her. I mean, she's fine, but it's you know, she has to read all this crap. Trump is still facing many legal battles in other states, such as Washington, D.C. and Georgia. And House Speaker Mike Johnson will lead an investigation into political retribution in courts. He said one House committee will investigate Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg this month. The testimony set for June 13th comes on the heels of Bragg winning his criminal case against former President Donald Trump. And the purpose of the hearing is to investigate what these prosecutors are doing at the state and federal level to go out, to use politics, you know, political retribution in the court system to go after political opponents of federal officials like Donald Trump. That's a really important thing for us to delve into. And we're going to look at uh, special counsel Jack Smith, who we believe is abusing his authority as well. We have the funding streams. We have uh, mechanisms to try to get control of that. We'll be doing that within the confines of our jurisdiction, and I, I think that can have the desired effect and show the American okay. people we're not going to tolerate this. Shannon, at the end of the day, people are losing their faith in our system of justice itself. And although Trump lost his trial in New York, there has been increased financial support for him. The Trump campaign raised $52.8 million within the first 24 hours following the verdict. Trump has not shown any signs of stopping his 2024 campaign. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow on our website and social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.